Now, in that context, I know that the last few days have been difficult. As I made clear in releasing the OLC memos, as a consequence of a court case that was pending uh, and to which it was very difficult for us to mount an effective uh, legal defense. I acted primarily because of the exceptional circumstances that surrounded these memos, particularly the fact that so much of the information was public, had been publicly acknowledged. The covert nature of the information had been compromised. I have fought to protect the integrity of classified information in the past, and I will do so in the future. And there is nothing more important than protecting the identities of CIA officers. So I need everybody to be clear. We will protect your identities and your security as you vigorously pursue your missions. I will be as vigorous in protecting you as you are vigorous in protecting the American people. Now, I have put an end to the interrogation techniques described in those OLC memos. And I want, to, I want to be very clear and very blunt. I've done so for a simple reason, because I believe that our nation is stronger and more secure when we deploy the full measure of both our power and the power of our values, including the rule of law. I know I can count on you to do exactly that. You know, there have been some conversations uh, that I've had with senior folks uh, here at Langley uh, in which uh, I think people have expressed understandable anxiety uh, and concern. So I, I, I want to make a point that I just made in the smaller group. I understand that it's hard when you are asked to protect the American people against people who have no scruples and would willingly and gladly kill innocents. Al-Qaeda is not constrained by a constitution. Many of our uh, adversaries are not constrained by a belief in freedom of speech or uh, representation in court or rule of law. So I'm sure that sometimes it seems as if uh, that means we're operating with one hand tied behind our back or that those who would argue for a higher standard are naive. I understand that. You know, I, I watch the cable shows once in a while. <laughs> what makes the United States special and what makes you special is precisely the fact that we are willing to uphold our values and our ideals even when it's hard. Not just when it's easy. Even when we are afraid and under threat. Not just when it's expedient to do so. That's what makes us different. So yes, you've got a harder job. And so do I. And that's okay. Because that's why we can take such extraordinary pride in being Americans. And over the long term, that is why I believe we will defeat our enemies, because we're on the better side of history. So don't be discouraged by what's happened in the last few weeks. Don't be discouraged that we have to acknowledge Potentially, we've made some mistakes. That's how we learn. But the fact that we are willing to acknowledge them and then move forward, that is precisely why I am proud to be President of the United States, and that's why you should be proud to be members of the CIA. All right. Third point.